hi today we are going to build this bell and you can see this bell design it's typical Christmas bell and I have developed this single line design as well for this design and to make these bells out of wood or acrylic in the laser cutting machine such as Glowforge and this bell can be found for free in my creative fabrica store the link will be in the description so this is another bundle which you can purchase and this bell is available for free for now for from my creative fabrica store the link will be in the description we will start building our bell and i am in my illustrator document which is 12 into 12 inch uh, big artboard and my guides are here these guides are from illustrator and you can see and i will bring my 5 into 5 and 4 into 4 inch box i want the uh, ornament christmas ornament dimensions to be confined into this area because the final result I, I can visualize the final result very well and the other thing i want to say is that i'm using my mouse and i'm trying i'm not using my wacom tablet to show that what can what are possibilities with with simple devices so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go to my new layer i'm going to make the fill none stroke one point stroke i'm going to select and i'm going to select my pencil tool and just start building a bell shape like that so that's one side of the bell now i'm going to again select my pen tool click this anchor point hold shift draw a straight line like this now very simply what I'm going to do I'm going to select this part and tra transform reflect and I'm going to vertical reflect it and I'm going to copy and with the help of a arrow key on my keyboard I'm going to bring this to the other side of my artboard so other side of the half now you can see I will remove everything now you can see these are two separate entities what I'm going to do these are two separate paths I'm going to join them I'm going to select my direct selection tool so rubber band select these two anchor points and go to pencil tool area select join tool and join here you go and now what I'm going to do to make this a complete bell I'm just going to safely select an ellipse tool just draw an ellipse like this and adjust bring everything in the middle of the artboard so I know where the things are and just bring this ellipse like this here and because I want this radius I will delete extra parts I will select this anchor point delete and what I'm going to do I'm going to just bring the size down a little like that which will touch both of these li lines and at the end and let's see what's going on and I will just bring everything to the center I will make I will select everything change from fill to frame uh, fill from stroke to fill now you can see this is a bell shape ready I'm just going to select everything object expand and unite here you go so our basic bell shape is ready now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a hole here so this can be used as an ornament and I'll bring up my guides so I can see how big is this bell I'll just select in fact I'm going to make a beautiful bell so I will set first select round rectangle tool make a round rectangle like that and bring keep bringing everything in the center of the artboard by using a line and finally I will choose an ellipse tool make a rough ellipse like that from choose uh, swap it from fill to stroke increase the size of the stroke to 10 and 
bring and adjust this design right in the middle of and I will just squash it a little and bring everything in the middle so my bell is almost ready and I will select everything object expand then again select everything object expand unite here you go our bell is ready I will just bring it right in the middle of the artboard and increase the size so this is a good size bell at least it is 4 inch into 4 inch now what I'm going to do I'm going to put my signature star here I will select star tool hold shift and alt click and drag and make a little stars I'll choose a separate color so you can see I just want to put this star everywhere on my designs on my Christmas designs because this is unique and this is where I know that which design I have built during my YouTube tutorials so this will be helpful for me so now I will bring everything in the middle remove my guide so see how the design is looking and it is perfect select everything from Pathfinder minus front so because I punch this star through this bell so this bell is ready let's finish the design of a bell so I will just put this ellipse tool here to show that this is a bell and make it slightly bigger and select everything and align everything to the middle of the artboard select everything and unite from the pathfinder okay a other thing which I want to do is to put a contour line across this bell so it have some shape for that and what I'm going to do I'm going to simply I just want to show the contour of the bell so for that what I'm going to do I'm going to simply select an ellipse tool draw an ellipse with a stroke of different color and select the direct selection tool select this anchor point and delete now this shows the and I will just decrease the size of the stroke now this shows the contour of the bell so this is nice I'll just decrease it and I'll bring everything in the middle of the artboard now for this uh, for this stroke I'm going to select a variable width profile what it does it gives various shapes to the profile like this one like this one like this so this is a uni uh, nice unique shape I will simply select it and go to object expand appearance and unite now with this there's a problem which I always face that there are so many anchor points for that I want to reduce the size of anchor points so I will go to object path simplify and take this slider to the other side so I will get the little bit of the shape and reduce the number of anchor points so I'm happy with that that's okay now I will just hit ok and accept the result now you can see now this will give us give give some shape to the uh, contour of the bell so I'm going to select everything and minus front from the pathfinder I will use minus front and this is how this bell will look like look like and so this bell basic bell shape is now ready to make this bell shape even more beautiful what I'm going to do I'm going to select one of the snowflakes we made in the previous videos I will choose this snowflake Control C and Control V here bring the size down a little bit of the snowflake and put everything right in the middle of the artboard so the snowflake is in the middle of the artboard and I will select everything again and minus front now here you can see in this bell this is a group if I ungroup it I will try to get rid of these parts which are not united to the overall design because I want this to be a single unit so this bell is now a single unit now you can see in the compound path this is a full compound path if it will cut it will cut in in this way 
So our bell is ready. So this bell and more variations uh, will be presented. Now in the before this we created the design of the bell and now I will just make different variations of this bell. So I will just first of all control C and control B control B and control B. The control B puts it in the back and I have this design now as it is in, in its form and now I can do whatever with this design. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a snowflake here. These are the Christmas, I just want to show you how I'm going to build the variations. So I will put some snowflakes and Christmas holy which I created and a gingerbread man starts and make a variation so let's start so what I'm going to do now I maybe want to unlock the bell this one to just to put everything in the perspective so first I will take this snowflake and size it now let's build a bundle size it according to this bell go to align put everything in the middle of the artboard and if I want to embellish this more I would just put a different kind of a star this star control C and control V let's bring it up and maybe put a star here a star here and first of all align align by going to align by selection and horizontal vertically aligning them and now what I want to do I want to show my guide so I can put these two stars right in the middle of the artboard so like this everything is ready I will push this snowflake slightly on the top and then select everything go to pathfinder and use minus front to complete this shape so this shape is complete I'll put it aside and I will make a copy of this shape again by holding alt and click and drag and align it right in the middle of the artboard like this and choose a different snowflake here and let's see what we can do with this snowflake so first of all I'll make it a little bit bigger and align, keep aligning everything in the middle of the artboard. I would like to use these small sturdy snowflakes with this bell and I'll just push it on the top make this snowflake even more little like this and bring everything in the middle of the artboard. I want to make I want to go make these snowflakes go on this side as well and I will just bringing them slightly uh, above and like like in a form of an arc show so it uh, goes along with the curve of a bell and now simply what I'm going to do I'm going to right click transform and reflect copy and with the help of an arrow key on my keyboard I will bring them to the other side. My intention is to make these snowflakes uh, very very symmetrical. So I will select both object expand and unite. That's it. It what actually it does it makes these two objects one object and now I can align them like this by going to align to selection and vertically aligning them and distributing it nicely along on the both side of the half now I will just select everything make sure that everything is aligned in the middle of the artboard which is and this one also middle of the artboard and now select everything go to pathfinder minus front and this is ready I will keep this so uh, this goes here this goes here uh, on this new bell I will put Christmas holy like these ones oh let's do it gingerly I would like to control 2 and uh, fix this lock this bell so I can work on this Christmas holy design 
let's see what we can do so this is this is let's adjust it somehow this leaf is still bigger so I will make it smaller like this and I will make this one smaller like this as well and turn keep turning them so it fits nicely in the inside this bell so it looks good I will make the berries bigger so they are not tiny objects which you can create problem for the final design I'll bring them here I, I built these long time ago and now I just use them to build whatever design I would like so let's see how it's looking and I'll bring this little bit here so I think this looks good I will unlock my bell find it where it is and Un unlock and then select everything go to pathfinder minus front now these berries have, have extra parts so this is a group I will right click ungroup and get rid of these designs so it looks nice and clean and now you can see it is a one compound path so this is ready I will just keep it here for this another design what I'm going to do I'm going to use these stars so what I did I made a larger star like this and first I will bring everything in the middle of the artboard star and the bell in the middle of the artboard and this star and this star I will first now I will start aligning them I will go to align to selection which will only work on these stars so I will align these two I will align these two and I will align it in the middle of the artboard and again go to align to selection I will align this star with this star or maybe not it is not looking good so I will now bring these stars right in the middle of the artboard with the help of the guide provided to me by illustrator and now this design looks ready I'll just remove my guide so you can see how it is looking maybe bring this star a little down and now check the alignment for everything the bell this star and this star so they are all right in the middle of the center so select everything go to pathfinder minus front so these are the some variations which i have made